Let's see the backdrop. Let's see the backdrop. Wait, wait, you're good. Right. 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 No, I don't want to go in. No, you're gonna call no, it. No, you have to. That's your right. bad. Nick, so what's the other figure they worked out? Uh, okay, so first and last name. Kendra Mata. Steven Arseniego. AKA the coin flipper. So we got a negotiation. <laughs> Check out our Instagram, we'll tag it. We did a double or nothing. I saw this on TikTok with the watch guys. So okay. they're back, they're feeling lucky. They took 40 bucks from us, 45 on some mirrors. We did a high low. So we got a coin again, sun hat. She thinks the pink's cute. She has good taste. <laughs> I agree. So if I win the coin flip, I get a call this time. The hat goes from 20 to 25. If I lose the coin flip again, it goes from 20 to 10. All right, we check the coin. Wait, 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 we flip. Oh, you gotta flip this out? Yeah, okay. they're flipping, Nick's right, calling. calling. Lock, lock it in, lock yeah. it in, let's see. We flip, you All call. Right. All right, we're going around, ready? Call it Getting in Getting spicy. Air. Ready? Tails. Oh! 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 <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I'll take some crisp. 25 singles, please. <laughs> Can you guys even see me? It's too early for this, guys. It's too early. 4.30 in the morning. Sancho's here. We're on our way to get the car. It's at Proline. It's done. We ready. Kinda. And the re Oh, shit. Oh. Really excited to just get there. Swap the cars over. Or swap the parts on. And then uh, just go and park it. And, and just enjoy my weekend. And then after this, it's basically just on chill mode till Camp Razor. And uh, there's some big things happening for Camp Razor, so I'm really stoked about that. But for now, we'll just catch you guys at Proline. Oh my god. Thank you guys. Big thank you to all you guys making this shit possible. Damn, son. I was thinking of getting here and putting on the paddles, but I mean, it's pretty cool that they already have it loaded for me. Big thank you to Andrew and freaking Proline. This shit is sick. I sure do love when a plan like falls in place smoothly. My goal was to get here by noon and that is exactly the time we're arriving, 11.58. So big time success on that end. And it's stressful trying to get up here, swapping paddles. The paddles, because they're so wide, they barely fit. We have like a little rinky dink trailer. It's super convenient because it's single axle, it's tiny, but the car barely fit and just, it was kind of warm, sweating my butt off. And then I still have to do the PRP seats. I have the DRT trunk. I'm just like, bro, I don't know if I'm trying to tackle all that right now. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just gonna sit in place for now and then we'll figure it out and I don't know, whatever, dude. But for right now, we gotta find what's his name, exhibitor staging, uh, Raul from Dirt Direct, and go from there because I need my pass because this old man's about to check me out. Exhibitor? Yes, sir. Yeah, in the okay. red tent. Okay, thank you, sir. In there, like swimwear, my first official Sancho exhibitor cherry pop. It's pretty cool to have like a little sectioned off area to leave all the trailers so i was kind of stressed about that like damn where am i gonna put this thing this shit is worth probably like easily six thousand bucks and you know someone can easily just jack it because they're so light that's the what are we gonna do now guys 12 30 got some time to kill after i leave this trailer probably go eat some good ass food honestly big shout out to raul at dirt direct man he's uh just been super helpful I'm calling him a bunch just random questions and uh confusion whatever things that i gotta do because all this stuff is new to me and he's super super cool so big thanks to raul for letting me in your booth and supplying me with your badass shit <laughs> and we'll see you guys later when all the action pops off sauce <laughs> All right, guys, panza llena, corazón contento. Full stomach, happy heart. Making my way downtown. What's up, celebrity? Nice car, dude. Damn. This is so badass. Come on, compa! 
In other news, that's kind of crazy. Um, Scat no longer in business. I think till the end of the month, they only have a couple carcasses left, like 32s. So you can't get Scats no more. That's insane because like a lot of these trophy trucks, pre-runners and stuff, that's all they run. So somebody else is going to have to step up and get that shit done. This is badass. Damn, man, one freaking day to have a pre-runner. Goals AF, bro. I like all these little details kind of make a difference. Like the lens being like that, that's pretty cool. Something different. <laughs> this car definitely been used and abused, but what a beast she is. What a beast she is. Check out RJ's new freaking car. It's sequential and I don't know what other cool ass, sick ass shit this fool did. Wow. Pura calidad, compa. You know, always in the game, it's always been like the scat level and basically sand tires unlimited. They've always been at the top. And by what I mean by scat is like scat, rogue, sandcraft. They're kind of like, what is it, synonymous with each other? Um, I, I, sorry, I lost train of thought because I pulled up here on uh, Price's booth. Damn, the truck. I, I was like, maybe one day I'll make the, the price booth, but now I know I wouldn't make it because that truck is freaking ridiculous. Anyways, I lost whatever I was talking about tires. So STU and Sandcraft, top of the game. I brand Sandcraft forever. I love them. They are beasts. Now it's time to try something different, especially with, these Pro, with this Pro R. I just want to see what STU is about. And I know that they're going to perform. I know that they're going to do well. They each have their pros and cons. So it is what it is, but I'm still to run them nonetheless. Oh my god, but let's get back to this freaking truck, dude. Talk about another OG in the game, DNM, man. A Doug and I, Preston, his kid's name, his boy's name, they have been building the baddest shit forever. Based out of Phoenix area in Arizona, they honestly would have top two or three, like, banshees at every event back in the day drag bikes and then they slowly transitioned into the utv game and now they are totally completely like in a league of their own so never works out like yeah look at that pro xp turbo r babe let me spend that <laughs> throw that shit in my car oh my god i wonder what power it would make just like airspace shit She's got like look at this thing oh, bro. bro talk about freaking attention to detail my god look at all this shit chrome ready This is freaking nasty right here. Putting a cyclone right there, like that's gonna freaking. But I wasn't the team at Dirt Direct really, really outdid themselves with this freaking car, man. Like, the details are freaking endless. Oh, this is so sexy too. I like that, like offset. Damn, Raul. Props, bro, props. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Lawrence, stop our talk. So, yeah. you know, Polaris guy here. Polaris guy. Let's turn that shit down. Are we live? Yeah, what? Dude, why with the Mexican accent? <laughs> hey, man. All right. YouTube, jump in on our pre-sale. There you go. There you go. What's, up? What's, up? All right. What's the deal? What's the deal? Hey, hey. There's the man himself, Mr. Landon. Nice car, sir. What's up, man? How you doing? Dude, I like it. Bad ass shit. Good job, Chris. How sick is that, dude? Like to have like a matching fleet. Because that's two of the three. And you make your way over here. 
and you have this expedition. How badass is this? Everything's a little bit different. What up, bro? Oh, <laughs> What's happening? Uh, we have another fellow ambassador build. Check out Nick's. The Farminator came out really, really nice, Nick. Another fellow Polaris ambassador, Mr. John. She looks good, bro. Big ass tire, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, big guy. Right. Car looks good. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Thank you. It just needs the paddles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me and the wifey up there. A lot of these shots were filmed in uh, Utah when we went months ago, and you see uh, the wife, <laughs> the wifey with the red helmet non-stop everywhere with Bryce and I'm here and there in a couple shots with with Brock um, I'm in one or two a couple shots with um, Tanner Faust and it's just funny you guys would never know but the red helmet and all these Polaris pictures and shots Super Sand Show. Super Sand Show? Super Sand Sports, sand sports Show. Make sure you put on your SPF. <laughs> um, make sure you wear comfortable shoes. Biggest thing, wear comfortable shoes. Yeah, so big time lessons learned. Well, it's not lessons learned. I've, we know this. We know this, but Vans just look good, but they are not a walking shoe. Yesterday, I turned my watch on like halfway through the day and whatever didn't keep didn't pay attention to it and at the end of the night i was like damn i'm kind of sore i wonder how much activity i did so i checked my rings and i walked uh over six, six miles, miles. Mm -hmm. over six because i didn't even turn my watch on until like i said halfway through the day over six miles like three or four thousand plus steps and uh <coughs> it was rough man but yeah we're at the sports of sand show <laughs> and uh, wear your SPF and comfortable shoes. I really like the setup that Robbie brought to this year's Super Show, kind of the evolution, the progress of of the Robbie cars. This thing was actually pretty badass back in the day, the uh, Robbie Gordon Edition Razor 900. And then when he went to Articat, and kind of slowly transitions into the speed. It's just so disappointing. I mean, what a good looking ass car, but they're just so heavy. They're so problematic. So many issues still to work out. And I mean, I can imagine, right? Like you're starting a company from scratch. Like, I don't think any of us can really like understand that idea of what it takes to build a car from nothing. Obviously, if anybody was gonna do it, it was gonna be Robbie. I mean, what a legend. But it's just so sad that this thing is still junk. Um, and that's speaking first-hand experience with, with Nick at Chupacabra. That dude has had so many issues, it's insane. And what do you do, you know? I'm honestly, I feel like Robbie at some point, one of these days is gonna be like, oh, we're filing for bankruptcy. Thank you for your money. I'll see you later. And he'll ride off into the sunset with a lot of your guys' cash. Hi, baby. What happened? You got a bite? No, on the on the drop his phone on me. That's not a drop. Mm. That's what he said. Yeah, what's up? What's up, dog? What's up, doc? Is this the? Oh yeah. No, these are. Hey, don't be touching the right the right guys. This is the radio. What do you think, mom? I like it. The parents approve of the new whip. 
All smiles over there. You approve, Mom? It's very pretty. Sheesh. Good afternoon. You wanna hit you wanna start the intro today, babe? No, I already tried it yesterday. Okay. Anyways, day three, last and final day. We didn't even come out today. Went and had a lunch with some family, enjoyed ourselves, just had a nice chill out and about day. Went to Jared's because the wifey thinks she's deserving of a new ring, but like a new ring is kind of like the cost of like a supercharger or something. So I think like it's probably better to get a supercharger than a ring in my opinion, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, just about to pick up the cars. This kind of turning out to be a little bit of a shit show. So we're going to see how this thing plays out. I think it might be a little funky. Just cars everywhere. I think I parked in a good enough spot to where I can just load and dip. But it's gonna be interesting. On another note, doing season is upon us, guys. Stay tuned. I was behind him as we were leaving. So you guys might want to negotiate some new paddles if you guys are buying them. Because for three hundred thirty-five thousand, yeah, I felt bad. He was just like every stop and go, and like spinning them, like like if he's never even driven the thing. Maybe it's not his. Or maybe yeah, I don't know. Or he's stealing it. Driving like he stole it. I guess we'll see you guys at the sand dunes now that we're officially loaded. Hopefully we make it back safe and sound. It's been a long weekend. I'm ready to go to Glamis. <laughs> 